Politicization of science is the process where politics interferes with scientific inquiry for the purpose of political gain. It often takes the form of support for one side over the other in a scientific dispute. The problem is that when a particular theory is pushed for political gain, the scientific process is corrupted. The supported side often gets lots of funding while the other struggles. This encourages researchers to back up the supported theory or risk losing funding. It gives the supported theory the appearance of being overwhelmingly supported by the evidence, even if it is not. Support or opposition for the theory becomes based more on politics than science, even among scientists. It becomes hard to find the truth because no one is unbiased. By far the worst example of politicized science is man-caused global warming. Man-caused global warming is favored by progressive politicians who see it as an excuse for increased government control. This issue has become so politicized that finding the truth is hard. There are actually three parts to this issue. Is the earth on a long-term warming trend? If yes, is it caused by human activity? If yes, what is the best way to deal with it? The problem is that there is scientific evidence that indicates that the answers to the first two questions are no. There is also evidence that the solutions being pushed are the worst way to deal with it, even if their science is right. There is also scientific evidence that the computer models being used to estimate future warming are based on false assumptions. In addition, there is email evidence indicating that data against global warming has been censored by climate scientists who support global warming. Furthermore, there is data showing that the warming trend seen before the year 2000 has stopped. The medieval optimum shows that global warming may actually be beneficial, eliminating any need for the proposed solutions. The point is that the politicization of global warming has hampered the scientific process. It has hidden and distorted facts, making it hard to find the truth. This is bad for and destructive to science.